Hello. We have in front of us the battery from a 2016 model year Volvo XC90 T8 plug-in hybrid vehicle. The problem with this battery is that it's showing a PODB3 hybrid EV battery cell balancing circuit. B error. We have already opened the battery and performed diagnostics on it. But let's take a brief look at what we found. So, there are connectors on both sides such as the main battery input output, communication port, coolant inlet and outlet. The battery is covered by a metal cover. That is held on screws all around the battery, which we just need to remove and we can get inside the battery. We've got the battery open. And let's have a look what we can see here. The battery consists of six modules. Each module should have around 60 volts. The modules are labeled I, B, C, D, E, F. And our problematic module should be module B. Each module has its own BMS. That controls the voltages of individual cells inside and temperatures. The BMS modules communicate with each other. Also, there are two thermistors per module. The communication is then routed to the main ECU of the battery. But let's take a look at the basic measurement. Here I will show that by measuring the output voltage, we may not detect the problem. As you can see the voltage of module A and module B are almost the same, and with module B, we know it's defective. So, how to find out? The first simpler option is to measure the voltages of the individual cells inside the module. The second option is to measure the voltages of the individual cells in the module, but under load, which will almost immediately reveal the problem. On these pins we can measure the voltage of each cell. But since the pins are quite small, we will measure voltages directly on the BMS. This single cell has 100 millivolts less than the others. So we can guess that this cell is the problematic one. If we want to be 100% sure, we need to do a test under load. And here we can see the results of the measurement under load. On module A everything looks fine. But if we look at module B we see a significant voltage drop on cell number 7. And this is our faulty cell. We're still working on our battery load tester so for now. I won't share the details of how the measurement was performed.
probably there is no chance to fix this module. But let's take a look at what's inside and what happened. On the cooling plate of the defective cell, we can see crystalline deposits of the coolant. Here we can see the electrolyte leakage from the faulty cell. If we want to remove the defective cell, we need to separate the poles of the individual cells which are ultrasonically welded together. So the poles of the other two cells are damaged in the process.
What do you think about where the problem might have been? Because I am not sure. Could the cell have been damaged from the factory? Could overheating of the cell have caused the coolant to crystallize? Or could the cooling have failed? And consequently the cell was damaged by overheating. So, what do you think happened? Leave a comment below. We have also tested the remaining modules, and they are all good. However, we will not put the battery back together. We will disassemble it and sell the individual modules. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed a video feel free to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.